What's going on, everybody? It's Jay Coffee Talk. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, take a quick moment. Hit the uh, subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Hit the thumbs up, like, all that stuff. But I want to get right into this. This is Jay Coffee Talk channel where we talk at all the news, music, sports, all that. But we're talking about Big Pharma. Now, if you guys stay up on my videos, you might have caught earlier I did a video about big tobacco, you know, how they're been squaring off against vaping. You know, the vaping industry is cutting into their uh, profits and they don't like that. You know, and I spoke in that video about how strong big tobacco is and lobbyists and checks getting cut. And, you know, that's how a lot of things happen in this country. And I mean, it's no surprise. I'm not talking about some big conspiracy theory or anything like that. This is facts. This is true. Um, you know, America it is is all about capitalism. So at the end of the day, when people got money to throw around and line people's pockets, they can get things done to their favor. That's just how it is here. Now, this video, as I said, is about big pharma. I guess you could call them uh, big tobacco's brother, cousin. I don't know what you, you want to call them, but, you know, they're very powerful as well, just like big tobacco. So what's going on is this company, Purdue, Purdue Pharma, uh, owned by the Sackler family, is being, you know, has been being sued for fueling the opioid crisis. I always call it opiates. I don't know. I felt like that's what everyone used to call it. Now I hear opi opioid thrown around a lot. I really don't know what the difference is. I've always called them opiates, whatever, but that's besides the point. Um, you know, they've been being sued by over 2,000 municipalities, uh, you know, counties, Native American uh, nations, reservations, all that stuff has all been suing them, saying that, you know, they engaged in misleading and decept deceptive marketing stra strategies, you know, when they were marketing uh, Oxycontin. That's their signature pill. Now, for anyone, you know, and I'm sure it'll be a lot of people who hear this video who, you know, um, may know of Oxycontin because either maybe you had a problem with it, it affected your life, you know, directly through you or a family member, a friend, you know, it can hit your life in many different ways. And there's always been painkillers on the market, you know, but, and, you know, they've always been a problem. But when Oxycontin really got out there, you know, since 96, it's been around, but when it really started getting out there to where I like, I, I want to say 05, I remember, I mean, it, it's been around, but I just remember 05 where I lived it really was like in the streets like that. Cause you know, that's how it goes. It, it's out there, uh, you know, prescriptions are getting written and you know, it ends up in the streets. It, it's, it's a, it's a big cycle. And you know, we all know this, as I said, uh, it's, it's crazy stuff, but these pills changed the game because they were very, very strong. Um, I've once heard someone refer to them as being like 16 Percocets in one or something like that. And they were highly dangerous because people were able to break them down and, you know, uh, snort them or inject them, which they did later change. You know, they made them tamper proof so they could not be broken down, but they were just very, very dangerous. They, they, uh, you know, a lot of people refer to them as hillbilly heroin, uh, whatever you want to call it. It was, it was very crazy. You know, it, it it definitely uh, brought the opiate, um, you know, problem to another level, no question. Now, you know, when we're saying they, uh, you'll see different things popping up on the screen, screen from different ads, marketing and everything like that. And, you know, what happened is they hit a lot of the risks and how addictive the pills were. And, you know, they just tried to push it in a whole nother lane when talking about these pills. And, you know, because of this, why that's such a big deal is... Of course, you know, the people who ended up on these pills maybe weren't really aware of how dangerous and addictive they were until it was too late, until they were already strung out, you know, because that's something a lot of people don't understand is painkillers are, are very, you know, uh, no doctors don't normally, I mean, now some of them kind of tell you, but they didn't used to tell people, hey, these pills are going to turn you into a junkie. Sometimes even if you don't abuse them, you know, just... Uh, getting your body getting used to them and needing them it's 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 crazy stuff you know and a lot of people even before they understood that they were drugs were like hey i feel better when i take these uh let me take more you know what i mean but 
anyways, when they were misleading and, and they were lying and hiding different risks and everything like that and dangers of the medicine, it made it, you know, had that information been out there, uh, Medicaid and other insurance companies wouldn't have approved, you know, for their company to make payments. And, you know, without that, what what good is that pill to a big pharma? You know what I mean? If, if it doesn't have those approvals out there, how are they going to make their money? So, um, you know, and you we see this a lot, a lot of pills all the time. I know you guys see those ads. They come on at night sometimes if you're up too late. Uh, watching TV or something, you know, for all those class action lawsuits. I mean, they're on during the day too, but, you know, uh, did you take this medicine? Uh, this may have happened to you. That may have happened to you. This may, um, you know what I mean? Uh, you may have cancer. Uh, I remember that one antidepressant. I'm sure you guys all heard it. You may uh, have be a male who grew breast tissue and all this crazy stuff, you know, you got to be careful. Maybe sometimes research this stuff on your, on your own. I mean, how deep can you really go? It's just, there's a lot of dangers associated with these medicines, you know, and when they know a medicine is going to be popular and they know that there's maybe some things out there that make people think of twice about wanting to mess with it, they hide that sometimes. You know what's so crazy? I'm not going to go too much further ranting about this, but you always hear of uh, scams going against Medicaid by rich people, you know, and then a lot of them knock Medicaid. I don't know. But anyways, um. What's going on, though, is the, the lawsuits, you know, that have been put together and consolidated into this federal court. Like I said, all the over 2000 municipalities and everything, they uh, consolidated most of them to this federal court in Ohio. They're talking about a settlement where they will, you know, declare bankruptcy and they're going to give out between 10 to 12 billion dollars to you know the victims affected by this i don't know how that money will be dispersed you know because when we're talking about municipalities you know there's a lot of people you know intertwined in that so i don't know how they will disperse the wealth i'm curious to see that myself but uh you know this is pretty crazy stuff and a lot of people may say you know who uh do not like Oxycontin and think of it to be evil and don't, you know, uh, speak against big pharmacy in the, in the shady dealings like this. Like I said, being misleading and deceptive, say, oh, this is a win. Say, Listen, as I just said, we see this all the time with different medicines. There'll be another medicine that this will happen with in the future. And, you know, sometimes they know they got to settle. They got to settle. Um, in this case, they got to give up ownership of their company. They got to take that L and they have to shut down, close the doors, declare bankruptcy. But you know what? I'll tell you this about these really rich. And uh, I guess I'd say big pharma. I'd almost classify them as people up there, maybe with the elite. I don't know. You can let me know in the comments, but they always got their next move lined up. Like, uh, you know, not that these people are friends of mine, but I'm just saying, can we really hurt these people? Or uh, not, And I'm not saying I want to hurt them, but I'm saying, can they really take a L? Not really, you know, it's just the way it is. But um, I don't know. This is just major news to me. I, I, this caught my eye. And um, Johnson & Johnson also, uh, you know, is involved in uh, this lawsuit with the opiate crisis. And um, they were involved in another settlement. And, uh, you know, there was also a settlement that took place in Oklahoma for $270 million. Like everything that's going on right now is just showing, you know, they uh this it's time for them to call it quits they can't you know they don't have any more cards left as i said but i don't know like get in the, uh, you know cards left to play but i don't know get in the comments let me know what you guys think about this as i said um it's pretty crazy the way things go in america when it comes to lobbyists big tobacco big pharma but like i said that's capitalism you line some pockets you know, you can get things pushed in your direction. And that's just the truth. Like I said, uh, I do sometimes make conspiracy videos, but this is not one of them. So I don't know, guys, uh, get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this. Just wanted to share this. Um, you know, also one thing before I close it out too, the feds have been on this family, um, you know, investigating them since 07. Three of them pled guilty to federal crimes. So, you know, that could also be 
part of their motivation too you know they've just been under a microscope and i guess they probably feel by settling and you know shutting it down they can just kind of end this like i said it's just they know hey like i said no more moves to play here it's going to be else for us we had a lot of w's we made a lot of money let's close this down and move on to the next thing but you know what um uh, it's evil stuff to do this to people you know to know hey I can totally screw society up, but I can get rich. You know what I mean? But uh, I don't know, guys. I'm going to close this out. Just wanted to share it with you. Thanks for tuning in. It's Jay Coffee Talk. I'm out of here. Peace.